Old age often brings unexpected changes that we cannot control. As people grow older, they become more fragile and require greater care. For Jonah, this stage of life led to an inevitable move to a nursing home, a change she did not want. However, it wasn't long before some startling events began to unfold. Jonah and Walter shared nearly 50 blissful years of marriage. High school sweethearts and soulmates, they tied the knot at just 20 years old. Four years later, they welcomed their only son, Austin. Despite life's challenges, they worked hard to build a promising future together in the years that followed. After 35 years of marriage, Walter had saved enough to buy a small, secluded piece of land. The property included an old, run-down house, but Jonah and Walter chose to live in their camper while they built a new home from scratch. During this time, Austin grew up, completed school, and established a small but successful local business while studying part-time to build a brighter future. In his late 20s, he met Lori, and before long, they were happily married. Austin and Lori had a boy named Seen and a girl named Joan, after her grandmother. Life was good. The house Walter was building took a little longer than expected, but he eventually finished the most beautiful log cabin overlooking the lake with breathtaking sunsets each day. Birds chirped in the trees, creating a little piece of paradise. Finally, in their late 60s, the couple moved into the cabin to start enjoying the life they had worked so hard for. Austin completed his studies and moved from the small town to a nearby city after being offered a job he couldn't turn down. He had many financial responsibilities. His parents were getting older, and being an only child, he wanted to be able to provide for them when help was needed. Seen and Joan were also growing up quickly, so Austin set up a college fund for his kids' futures. Austin and Lori would drive up most weekends to visit his parents, and the children loved enjoying nature at the lakeside. Life couldn't have been better. It was almost as if the universe wasn't content with the harmony this family enjoyed. A dark cloud of destruction was building on the horizon. Just before his 69th birthday, Walter was diagnosed with a malignant tumor and died within three months. For Jonah, life fell apart instantaneously. After the funeral, Austin and Lori insisted that Jonah come stay with them for at least a while. Very reluctantly, she agreed to stay for a month. After that, she wanted to return to the house Walter had built with his own hands. The house was a reminder of the beautiful relationship they shared. She could almost smell his love in the timber and the kitchen fire they lit each evening. A week before Jonah was set to return home to the log cabin by the lake, their plans were interrupted by a phone call in the middle of the night. The police officer on the other end informed Austin that the cabin had been completely destroyed by a forest fire. Can you imagine what Jonah must have gone through? Not only had she lost the love of her life, but now she had lost all her earthly possessions. Though devastating, what hit her hardest was losing the smells and memories of Walter that were somehow still captured in the cabin. Losing the cabin was almost as devastating as losing Walter. Austin decided not to take his mother to see the burned-down house, fearing it might push her over the edge. The only consolation Jonah had during this terrible time was the love of her son, Austin, and her daughter-in-law, Lori. There were also the busy little feet of her two grandchildren, Seen and Joan. In the months that followed, Jonah fell into a deep depression. Her life had been completely disrupted. She did not like city life, and her grandchildren had to share a bedroom to accommodate her. She had very few personal belongings left and was dependent on her son for support. At the time, various legal processes after Walter's death were still pending, as well as the insurance on the house. Investigations were underway, and Jonah did not know if she would ever receive money from the insurance company. On top of all this, Jonah had to start looking for a place to stay in a retirement village or nursing home. She was almost 70 and didn't want to be a burden on her son and his family. This was one of the most difficult decisions she had to face. Walter had always taken the lead in such matters, and now she was on her own. Austin did all he could to ease the burden and look after his mother. If it weren't for the compassion of her daughter-in-law and the sunny laughter of her grandchildren, Jonah might have given up on life. The devastating events of the past year took a toll on Jonah's health. 
it became apparent that a nursing home would be the only option left. This was very difficult for the vibrant mother and grandmother to accept. She longed for the life she had with Walter at the cabin. She missed her vegetable garden, the chickens, the fresh air, and the peace. They rarely locked their doors and almost always watched the sunset over the lake together. In stark contrast, city life was filled with honking cars, pollution, loneliness, and locked doors. Jonah wasn't looking forward to being settled into a nursing home. She always avoided crowds. To her, a secluded life with Walter as her companion was blissful. Eight months after Walter's death, with the house burned to ashes, it was time for Jonah to move. She left the selection of a nursing home to her son and daughter-in-law. Her only request was a room that faced west so she could still watch the sunsets. Her like was now packed up into a few suitcases and boxes. She did not look forward to the move, but she kept a brave face, knowing she had no other option. She also wanted her grandchildren to have their own bedrooms again and her son and daughter-in-law to have their alone time as a couple. Austin and the kids had to attend a school function, so Lori took Jonah to the nursing home. At first, Jonah didn't realize they were leaving the city. She was overwhelmed with emotions and often closed her eyes, pretending to sleep. She knew this was inevitable, but hoped to wake up and find the events of the past few months had been a bad dream. Without intending to, Jonah fell asleep and dreamed of chains around her ankles and hands, constricting her. When the car stopped, Jonah woke as it from a nightmare. She thought she was still dreaming as she found herself surrounded by the most luscious nature she had seen in months. Her eyes took a while to adjust. A flood of emotions overwhelmed her, fear, joy, disbelief, and excitement all at once. Tears streamed down her face as she took it all in. Her son and grandchildren stood nearby, waiting to welcome her. That evening, they sat together and watched the most breathtaking sunset she had ever seen. Jonah had braced herself for the sight of a sterile nursing home with bars, locked doors, and the bustle of city noise. Instead, she found herself standing on the familiar soil she had once loved to cultivate. In place of the old log cabin lost to the fire stood a brand new one, with no sign of the previous devastation. The original layout of the house had been preserved, but thoughtful adjustments were made to ensure it was accessible and comfortable for her in her older years. Her son had been secretly planning to rebuild the house. As Joanna walked through the initial layout, a surge of nostalgia washed over her, bringing back familiar scents and treasured memories. Later, she sat with her son, daughter-in-law, and grandchildren, basking in the glow of a peaceful sunset and cherishing the comfort of family togetherness. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video. Take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.